What's better than high school basketball? A lot of extra high school basketball. Good evening, everyone. I hope your Valentine's Day was better than mine. I ate an entire box of chocolates, and now I am sick to my stomach, and I'm almost positive one of them had that toothpaste stuff in it. It's just nasty. Ew. Uh, however, let me get everything together. Tonight's basketball action was like a really bad action movie, Fast and Furious. We begin in Gladstone as the Braves look to knock off Nagani. Second quarter, game tied at 10. Layup is no good, but Trent Bell is there to clean it up and ring the bell for Nagani. He gets the basket and the foul there. A little later, Reese's Pieces Caster with the offensive board. Quick move in the paint, and that bucket is sweet like chocolate and peanut butter. Miners, though, they answer back. Dre Tuminen, no. But Bell is there to get the putback. He finished with 20 points and 18 rebounds. And tonight he got some big help from Dr. Dre Tuminen as he finished with 37 points, including 19 for 21 from the free throw line. But the Braves would not go down without a fight caster all the way to the hoop. Count that baby and a foul. The sophomore finished with 29 points for the Braves. They would need overtime to settle this one. And it was Nagani coming out on top 75 to 71. To the scoreboards now, as Iron Mountain keeps rolling, they top Kingsford 73-51. Carson Wonders scored 37 for the Mountaineers. Norway rebounds from their first loss of the season on Friday to get a win at home against Forest Park. 61-42, Connor Ortman scored 23 for the Knights. Westwood gets a road win over Gwynn, 49-30, thanks to 15 points from Nathan Beckman. Escanaba holds on for a win over West Iron County, 54-51. Tyler Willette had 25 points for the Eskimos. A.J. Wisnick had 24 for the Wycons. Calumet tops Lance, 72-48. Matt Ojala led the Copper Kings with 22 points. Besmer hosted Hancock, and the Speed Boys knock off the Bulldogs, 51-45. It was Dollar Bay all over Barriga, 84-31. Devin Schmitz had 22 points for the Blue Bolts. Abe Gockenbach scores 23 as Chassel gets the road win over Antonagin, 64-48. And Jeffers gets the win at home over Watersmeet, 74-64. Jaden Wood scored 27 for the Jets. Jacario Holt had 31 for the Nimrods. To Marquette now. As the Redmen hosted Ishpeming, early first quarter, Jackson Ostrowski finds his brother Joe from three-point land, and Mojo hits the shot to open the scoring in this one. A little later, the Hematites answer back. The heartbreak kid Hart Holmgren goes off glass there for the first two points for Ishpeming. Back the other way, Luke Skywalker OG with the quick move to the hoop and the easy lay-in as Marquette took an early five-point lead. Moments later, it's Holmgren again, opposite side, but the same result. The glasser is good as he cuts the deficit back down to three, but the Redmen would just lights out again tonight. Mojo with another three. He led Marquette with 15. The Redmen win their 14th straight game as they top Ishpeming 71 to 38. More scores as North Central wins their 71st game in a row. They top North Dickinson 65-42. Jason Whitens led the Jets with 30 points. In a battle of top five Class D teams, it was Carney Nato getting the best of Bark River Harris 62-41 thanks to Hunter Icorn and his 28 points. Munising improves to 14-2 as they beat Rapid River 69-58. The Mustangs get 27 points from Cade Contreras. And it was Big Bay Danak over Mid Peninsula 81-47. Eric Johnson and Robbie Ray each scored 18 points for the Black Bears. On to the girls' action, and we begin in Nagani with an MPC matchup. Miners hosting Gwyn. Less than a minute to go in the first. Clara Johnson to Allie Jacobson down low, and AJ gets the bucket to go as the Miners led by nine after one. Second quarter, Model Towners start going in the paint. Tierra Taylor gets the bucket to fall, and we would see a lot of T-squared in this quarter. And we would see a lot of Crystal Clara Johnson as well. The three-pointer is good. She finished with 14 points and seven assists. More from Nagani. Ball inside to Abby Nelson. And Abs goes to the rack to push the Miners' lead to 14. But don't count out the Model Towners. T-squared. She's going to go up strong here. Ball bounces for a second and goes down. However, it would be Nagani coming away with a win tonight. 57-37, to the final score. The number one team in Class D was also in action tonight as Forest Park gets the home win over Rapid River 53-29. The Lady Trojans were paced by Abby Nyland who scored 23 points in the win. 
More girls basketball action. Kirk Corcoran and the Lady Patriots hosting West Iron County. First quarter, Westwood with the ball, and now they don't have it because they score. The Koskinator, Maddie Koski, nails the three there. A little later, Wycons answer back with a three of their own. The Einstein, Riley Stein, hits it, and she would get hot. Moments later, ball goes to Stein, and E equals MC squared right there. And she would keep shooting, this time from three-point range, and Stein nails the three. She would finish with 11 points in this one to lead West Iron County. A little later, it's Tessa Lees to Koski. Back to Lees for the three-pointer. That one goes in. Westwood holds on to win it 44-43. And a pair of hockey scores. Mar uh, Marquette falls to Hancock 2-1. Calumet beats Houghton 3-2.